you are watching dare to inspire and you will learn how to meditate after watching this video once upon a time a queen invited a monk to her palace queen said to the monk if i ask you something will you give me monk said what do you want queen said i want your begging bowl without asking for anything else monk gave her the begging bowl which was the only thing he had the queen took it and in turn gave him a ball of golden studded with diamonds taking the golden ball the monk started walking towards his hut on the way a thief sees him and started following him to steal that ball the monk gets to know that the thief is following him he thinks that because of this golden ball he will disturb his inner peace of mind and also thieves will have to do a lot of hard work to steal it so it should be given to the thief reaching his heart he throws the golden ball outside the hut and goes inside the thief sees that this monk has thrown his golden ball outside of hut it means that he must be having something more valuable that's why he does not care about this golden ball he keeps standing outside thinking about it eventually he decides to go inside the monk's hut and takes a deep look he peeks inside the hut the monk was engrossed in meditation the thief went inside silently and started looking into the hut but the hut was empty now the thief was even more surprised and started thinking that the monk has nothing then why does not he care about his golden ball he sat beside the monk and waited for him to come the censors after some time the monk got up and saw the thief sitting in front of him the monk smiled and said so you have come the thief said with a folded mind sir I was following you from the palace to your hut. Please tell me why you threw the golden ball out. What do you have that is more valuable than that golden ball? The monk smiled and said, "My friend, I have been a treasure of meditation in front of which all the wealth of this world has no value." Hearing this, the thief fell at the feet of the monk and said, "Sir, forgive me." I came here to rob you but you are a saintly person now I don't want materialistic wealth please give me a little out of your treasure of meditation the monk smiled and asked answered my dear friend you too can find the inner peace and pleasure that I have found the thief said sir I don't know how to meditate please tell me how to meditate the monk smiled and said friend Meditation is very easy in fact there is nothing to be done in meditation just find a quiet and relaxing place where no one can disturb you sit on a mat that you can't have contact with the earth make sure that your back remains straight place your palms on your knees facing the sky now close your eyes and take some long and deep breaths After that slowly and slowly let the breath return to normal and with your mind keep watching your breath coming in and out don't let go even a single breath without watching it just keep watching your breath inhale and exhale keep watching like a watchman in between your mind will wander here and there sometimes your mind will start thinking about else one never happens focus your mind again on your breath don't do anything else just consciously watch your breath come and go watching the breath slowly and slowly your breath will go down as the breath slows down and so will your mind calm down slowly and gradually there will come a moment when your thoughts will completely disappear and your mind will draw in the ocean of peace this is the state of deep meditation this thief started meditation 
as told by the monk and stopped feeling and slowly and slowly his life changed. If you see our life, we will find that most people want to meditate, but they don't know how to meditate. There are many methods of meditation, but the most popular and effective method among them is Napna meditation, which is part of this Pana meditation. This method of, method of meditation was invented by Gautam Buddha about 2500 years ago. You can't master this method of meditation in a single day. For this, you have to practice for a long time, a little bit of regular practice every day. In this method of meditation, you have to focus your intention on your breath, inhaling and exhaling and nothing else. Our breath is the rain of our mind, just as we control a horse with this rain. Similarly, we can control our minds by controlling our breath. When we start observing our path, come and go, our breath starts to slow down. As our breath slows down, our thoughts start to subside. After some time, there will come a time when your mind will become completely silent. And you will feel infinite peace with the long practice of watching your breath. You can start feeling separate from your mind and body. This is the state of deep meditation and this is the end of sorrow. Thanks for watching, dear to inspire.